Hey pilots, Drain Man here. Today I have a very, very special day. We are going to begin a new series. It is not going to be a long or dragged out series, but it's going to be an awesome series. We're going to have tons of fun. We're going to learn some new stuff, and we are going to build something a little bit out of the ordinary. So, I'm excited to present to you guys the Sinwoop that we are about to build. So, welcome to the show. Alright, first thing we're going to do is we are going to unpackage this. These are our ducks. Oh, look at that. They're together. So, it appears it's going to make life a little bit easier when we go to build it. I like the packaging and uh, I do want to give a shout out to Shen Drones because this is a really cool idea that they came up with. I know they invested a lot of time and a lot of hard work into coming up with this design. I think it's really cool and for the 3D printers out there, I know there's quite a few of you, you are welcome to buy just the carbon frame for like 30 bucks or something. That's it. And then you just print this stuff at home and you're good to go whether you're rocking a hero or a session, don't matter have a blast all right here we go let's finish opening up our parts um they did give us mounts too we've got mounts to mount all of our accessories that we're going to need like vtx and receiver etc so this is going to be good i'm excited so this is going to be part one and in part one what we're going to do is we are going to build the frame and then in part two we are going to begin yeah somebody's messaging me uh, in part two, we're going to get into building the actual quadcopter, which if you're out there and you're going to be using some of the components that I'm using, like the same motors, ESC, flight control, whatever, and you need a little bit of guidance on how to build it, ain't nothing wrong with using this build video for that. So don't let that stop you from watching this video. Now, if you are building a Sinwoop, this is definitely the video for you if that is what you're looking for. So let me go ahead and organize this up. And we are going to go ahead and run it. Alright, so you are going to need your 2 millimeter screw. And then you're going to put... Let's start on one end. So you've got different lengths here. You've got longies and you've got shorties. There should be four of the long ones. There you go. Now, to help you out, if you're unsure, the four long ones are going to go here because these aren't going to come back off so let's go ahead and lock this down once and for all use something to hold it give it an extra spin Next up is going to be these. Ooh, the balance. That balance, though.
itself. You guys have now seen the frame. What will happen now is you will put these on. And I would start with this center one to make sure that you're lined up. Alright, that's one side. And now I am going to tell you that this should have gone on first. Also, your GoPro mount, which is also adjustable as you can see, that is going to go on to the top of this right here, which we're not there yet. Just hold on. Don't, don't rush me. But make sure you put this on. If, and that's if you plan to use this. See me, I'm not using this, so that's why I don't have mine on. Well, actually, you know what? I might use it. I might use it just because why not it came with it but the whole purpose of what I'm doing right now is I want to build this all the way so that you guys can see it without having to wait for or not I shouldn't say wait but you know you might not want to see all the components going in and stuff so that's what I'm doing this first All right, so I've checked all four corners, and I mean that is just. <laughs> um, you also have this option too, if you'd like, whatever you guys want. You do have one more crossbar, and that is for your GoPro mount. So that's going to go in there. And then when you put this, that is what you got these two screws for. And they're going to hold this in so that your GoPro mount can be adjustable. And then last but not least, oop, don't squish it down that much. Last but not least, your top plate. So this would have gone like this. And this would have gone like this. And you have yourself a Cinewhoop. Wow. All right. So, all right, pilots. So now you know how to build the Cinewhoop frame. It is nothing complicated or extravagant. Well, maybe it's extravagant, but not in the sense of hard or difficult to build or, oh my gosh, how am I going to figure this out? It's not. It's just slap it together. I mean, look. So now what I'm going to do now is I am going to pull this back apart. And all that means is I'm going to slide the ducts off. And uh, something we might talk about is putting some glue or something in here to keep this from separating, you know, later on. Because as you can see, I can slide this right back off. And we don't want that to happen in a crash. So I'm going to pop these off now because I'm going to build the rest of this. But you guys might decide that you want to glue this in permanently and not have it come back off or whatnot. I don't know. You guys do what you want, but I want to thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you on the next one. Also, real quick, if you are interested in seeing the rest of this build and you want to see it fly, we're going to do test flights. We're going to do some modifications. We're going to learn some new stuff. We're really going to push the limits with this Cinewhoop. So make sure you tune in, click on it, and subscribe. Put on the bell notification so you know when it does come out, and I'll see you on the next one.